Hey everybody, today I'd like to show you how a soft rotted nook looks like. I did it last night, it was very easy. You just follow precise the instructions on the nook dev site. You, set the, you download the two files and you just follow the really good instructions and it's a piece of cake doing it. I mean, hey, I could do it, so, you know, I guess anybody can do it if I can do it. So, but what is different with a rooted nook? Well, already when you wake it up, you see here's something different. You have two options. You have the home option, which is your regular Nook menu. The one you know, the one you're familiar with. Everything is working like it worked before. And then you have the option of the Nook launcher. When you first open it, it has exactly the same icons as the regular menu but um, the old-fashioned icon. So everybody who is crying, I want my old icons back, here you got them. So I already did my um, customized menu, so it looks a little different now. Um, if you open this up, you see all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can scroll sideways, depending on how much icons you, you added to it. Adding icons and organizing icons is pretty easy. You just go to the launcher settings, which opens, well, with basically the icon menu and which icons you would like to see and have on your or side apps you'd like to have. Um, adding, uh, enabling or disabling uh, a side app is pretty easy. If you would like to add something to these icons, you just tap on the plus and you come to another menu where you can choose from. There are all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can see I got the Barnes & Noble library. I, I have it disabled. I have disabled the Barnes & Noble settings and the daily, but you can have it all in there, you know. You can enable it all and then it will all show up on your uh, launcher menu. If you pick the stuff up, you just push this little arrow and you are back in the icons. Now you could sort them. Like if I would like have the web icon on a different position, I just push this icon and I push the icon where I want this new icon to be before. So like if I want to have it between my books and Barnes and Noble, I push the Barnes and Noble icon and you see it's in there now. If you like to remove an icon, you just tap it. And if I would tap it again now, it would be disabled. It's back in the in the down menu where you can enable it. So um, so basically, this is the stuff I would like to have in my Nook launcher menu. Um, you can you know you can all do all kinds of stuff and settings and have everything in here and do all the things you you do from the regular menu, but you can do more from it. Um, I'm going to show this to you in a different video. I'm going to explain to you what my favorite apps are from the um, launcher stuff. Um, but this is going to be in separate videos. So this is basically how it looks, what you can do, how you can sort it, and how you can um, organize it the way you'd like to have it. And for the rest, check my other stuff. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.